Good morning and welcome to Meldon Reservoir, back on Dartmoor. It's a gorgeous morning, stunning. Here's what's coming up. Right, now this is absolutely stunning. But if I'm honest, I would like the Osmo 3, if anybody's watching. <laughs> The hat and the gloves are off. All right, we're on a train track, heading down to the viaduct. Because these have had it. Good morning and welcome back. Uh, Meldon Reservoir, this is. Um, it's a beautiful place. Let me show you real quick. Turn around. It's got an old viaduct and rivers down there. All looks lovely. We got all that. We got the moon going down. So yeah, good place. Great place. Sun's just coming up. I got some. Um, I got some blacks, greys, and reds. So I'm just trying to find a bit of a composition for a sunrise. Um, Bear with, we'll get set up. Right, now this is absolutely stunning. I've got some brilliant cloud, I've got some rolling hills. I've got the dam, uh, the, the water's coming over the dam. I've slapped the ND, ND32 filter on, just to give me that little bit of darkness to get that water movement um, and take those take those lights away it's absolutely beautiful here i've got the sun coming up behind me which is just illuminating the tops of the hills although this cloud's doing a bit of damage to that at the moment i think i've already got the shot that i want but i'm going to stay here and just see how the environment changes over the next half an hour i've got this gorgeous tree in the foreground it's got all that mossy green stuff on it and because i've got such a slow shutter speed that's going to be blowing in the wind i'm super bloody excited about this photo this this is great what a first shot oh love it love it let me show you right spin you around i'll show you the shot right there it is pretty much pretty much that's it foreground got a beautiful green moss let me show you bugger it I'm so excited this morning <laughs> look at this the green moss is blowing just blowing in the brisk wind it's brilliant so i've set up here a nice little spot it's out the wind and now look when the clouds are changing you've got the the lights coming over the top now this is how you use light you've got them you got to monopolize on it. I was, I was coming, I was coming to shoot with the sun coming up this way. Um, I did a little bit of research on the location and you can get over there where that sun's coming up, but nah, this is far more dramatic, far more brilliant with the sun coming up this way. So eventually that sun's gonna light the dam up. Um, so I am gonna sit here for half an hour and just see. So settings, We've got the little ND filter on. I haven't got it on much. Uh, 28, ND28, give or take. 0 0.6 of a second. F10, ISO 80. I've got the clouds. I've got, I've got the tree in the left. I've got the clouds above that. And then over on the right, I've, I've got the dam in the middle. I've got that little row of trees. Uh, spin you around again. I've got a little row of trees over there looking absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really, really stunningly pleased with this shot. Um, I think we're on to a winner here. I think we're on to a winner. Yes!
Right, so Meldon Reservoir, whilst we are waiting, uh, £3 to £5.50 a day car parking. Car park's big, there are toilets. I cannot report if they're clean or not because I haven't been yet. <laughs> Drive up is easy, it's literally five minutes off, uh, off the A30, A38, whatever it is. You've also got, which we'll walk down to later, is the old viaduct and you can walk across it. I'd imagine this is a really, really popular spot. Um, look at those blacks coming, man. Oh my God, this is fantastic this morning. What a morning. Um, awesome, awesome. This is wicked. Oh. <gasps> Chuffed a bit, so glad I got up, so glad I got up. Let me set the scene for you this morning, right? Wake up, it's still dark, and the clocks, clocks obviously go forward tonight. Um, the moon, driving down the motorway, 70. Favourite tunes, the moon is setting in front of me. The moon's looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm an hour away from sunrise. You can see the breaking clouds in the background. And I've never had such a happy feeling as I did this morning. Honestly, even though I've had the crappiest of weeks, never had such a good feeling. And that is the outdoors, isn't it? That is the beauty of being outside. I'm at my happiest. It's, yeah, oh man, what a morning to get up to this as well. Anyway, coming up in this video, this is video number 97. So we've got 98, 99, and then we've got my 100th video. So thank you to everybody for subscribing. Thank you for all your comments, all your likes, all the positivity. It's absolutely awesome. But I'll talk about my 100th video and what I've got planned a little bit later on. Two degrees when I got here this morning. Coat on, three layers, hat, gloves, two two pairs of gloves. Now I'm melting. So the hat and the gloves are off. All right, we're on a train track, we're heading down to the viaduct, and um, because you can walk across it. There you go. Let's go. Right, so Osmo Pocket Two update. <laughs> done some googling did a little bit of research um the battery's at it lots of uh, people on the internet talking about the battery giving up the ghost after about three years mine's three years old uh i've got a battery i've got an extra battery handle so we're going to be using that for now um <clears throat> but if i'm honest i would like the osmo 3 if anybody's watching <laughs> My birthday's coming up! Right, so this is a bit nuts. Right, turn you around. You can come underneath the bridge. Look at this, man. Look at that. That is brilliant. And then you've got all this metal work. You change the opacity and bring the settings out on that and you, you really get all this, this metal work and the mould and oh it's brilliant, I love it. Um, I've used both lenses, used a 24 to 105 and sort of gone right in. I used a 14mm and come right out. Um, I've, worked, I've worked this fence down here. I've worked all sorts of crazy stupid angles, all handheld, uh, about f5, 180th of a second, ISO 100. Just, I want those shadows lifted a little bit, but not too much. I managed to get a starburst as well from coming through, so hopefully they've worked. Um, couldn't really talk you through any of it, because it's just angles. Um, play with your angles, remember your grid, you know, set something up in the middle, it's the, the story part of it. 
and then just work your angles from there and what you want in it and how I've got there's a lot of dormant trees and dead branches here I don't particularly want them in it so I've worked quite high um, but we've got the the train station at the end I'm going to walk over there now and um, we'll get the drone out and we'll look what we can do but this is awesome what a location man what a location um, I'll stick these up now I'll stick them all up there you go So I hope you enjoyed those pictures of the bridge. They're all handheld. They're all just different angles, working off different things. You just got to mess about with stuff like that. You just got to play, take loads of shots, and go through them when you get home with a fine-tooth comb. Or I quite happily normally sit there and look through the sit there with my eyes through the viewfinder, looking at them as well. Finally, get a clearer picture than you do on the back of the LCD screen. Just heading back up now the light's getting quite harsh now um, as you can probably see so i'm just going to go and try and get on top of a peak a um, bit of a walk and see if we can look down at the reservoir um, i've done some brilliant drone stuff up there what a place for a drone um, i changed the gimbal to fpv so rather than follow me and it's all you know straight lines the fpv it all swing with a drone so I think it'd just be a bit of more of an immersive flight because there's uh, the old train station down there as well so I stayed out stayed behind the fence I let the drone do the work um, so I'm gonna put a montage of clips up now um, nice bit of music enjoy this flight here we go
So, for my birthday, I've asked for a new pair of walking boots because these have had it. I think they're three years old. <laughs> the sole, I think the sole's gone. Not gone, just hurt my foot. So they're on order. They'll be here next week. And I'm super excited. And that is the simple little things in life, isn't it? <laughs> There's a Duke of Edinburgh's group back there. No, I mean, not for bragging rights or anything, but I just dropped them. Catch you up, innit? I'm double your age. I've noticed going through my analytics and stuff. Um, thanks for all the thumbs up, by the way. Keep hitting that like button because it pushes me up. What I've noticed is just recently a lack of comments. So here you go. Comment. How are you? What are you doing? What have you been up to? I don't care. It's good to talk. It is good to talk. And I love the comments and I answer every single one of them. Um, so do it now. Pause me. Drop a comment. Right, so I'm at the bottom end of the reservoir now. <clears throat> I've done a massive loop. I say I've done a massive loop, I've not finished a massive loop yet. Met loads of lovely people. Um, so down the bottom here, turn you around. Just got a nice, real nice spring flavoured shot. We've got beautiful blue skies, white clouds. We've got this island in the middle, which is my central focus point. I filled the bottom of the frame with the branches sticking up. So it's just not much, but it's just something to, you know, draw the eye off into the island and then eventually focus right down the back and focus on the dam there. I've got some beautiful clouds in the background. I have actually, for the first time in quite some time, bracketed the shot just to pull the sky, pull that sky in so I go, I've got plenty of room to work in Lightroom and Photoshop when I get home. Um, just a three shot. I've done a simple one shot as well, which is 1 over 125th F11 ISO 100, um, but it looks really nice. It's just a nice place. Um, seen some wild campers down there. Um, just, yeah, here's a shot. So, the 100th video. Yes, 100 videos. That's a lot of work, it's a lot of photos. And a lot of walking. <laughs> I've loved every minute. So, gonna do something I've always wanted to do. The planning is already underway. We're going wild camping. Yes, we are. Um, hence these locations up on Dartmoor. Um, Bella Bear Forest, uh, last week's video, which was the Avon Dam, uh, this week's video, uh, which is Meldon, Meldon Reservoir. Um, it's just a few locations. <clears throat> now there is a code of conduct. There is also an interactive map of Dartmoor on uh, Dartmoor's national uh, forestry page, which shows you where and where you cannot camp. Now, the Avon Dam was looking pretty good. But you've got to camp away from the dam. I haven't looked for this place yet. But this place looks lush. And I've already bumped into some wild campers. Whether they're here within the rules is another matter that I haven't checked out yet. Um, so, so far, three beautiful locations to crack on with a bit of wild camping. So, back at the van. Um, job done. What a morning, what a place. Out of the last three places looking for a wild camp location, this has got to be the top spot so far. Um, and Henry the van is hurt. I have just discovered the exhaust back box. One of the welds is uh, broken. So Henry is gonna have to go to hospital, gutted. 
absolutely gutted and drive it home real steady anyway that is me done i am out of here it is easter saturday tomorrow is easter sunday i wish you a wonderful weekend have a beautiful easter by the time you watch this you would have already had a beautiful easter but there you go <laughs> but yeah have a good one stay safe have a great week and i will see you very very soon